He's just fucking hip firing with the chip, okay. Oh, well. I'm big, five I seconds. I think I thought I was dead. Is this the ace? What's going on, boys? Welcome back to another video on the game Area F2. Yes, as you may have noticed, we've had a little upgrade on the microphone. How does it sound? <coughs> anyway, welcome back, and in today's video, guys, I'm going to show you how to improve your aim and become a pro in Area F2. There's some really good techniques you can use, and in this video, you're going to find out exactly how. Now, before I go ahead, every single video, I do a free shout-out for one of you guys on my official Twitter, at Smith Spit Roast. So the winner of today's one is a man called Akbar Pasha. He says, you'll be pro soon. Well, my idea for you is to make a montage video of your favorite agent. If you love my idea, then shout out my channel, Skullgun Gaming. So promo. Okay. Appreciate that. Thank you for your kind words, buddy. I will do exactly that. And you already know my favorite agent. It is Panther. So that's going to be the next video. If you want to shout out in my next video, just make sure you go and tweet me on my Twitter. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video on how to aim like a freaking pro. Let's go. Yeah. Baby, do you so damn fine, though? Wanna know if I can hit it from behind, though? I'm sipping on you like some fine wine, though. When it's over, I press rewind, though. Talking bands, I got it. Benjamins in my pocket. Okay, so welcome back, guys. Before we even get into this video, I want to remind you of the recruitment and the $100,000 that you could actually win for yourself. If you are level 5 and under, so if you are brand new to the game, head on over to the events page, which is just below me right here. Head on to the recruitment tab, which is on the far left-hand side, and all you need to do is scroll down to the bottom of that page where it says enter your recruiter's recruitment code before you reach level 5. You can see my code on the screen right now, so go there if you level five and under type in my code and you can get some free gold and one free skin when you first start the game okay so getting into this video guys on how exactly to aim like a pro i've been having a lot of you guys actually ask me how to do this it's very simple um i practice every single day doing this but before we get into anything all you'll need to do is make sure you have the correct sensitivity on the game so i've been fiddling around with these guys on the uh, top of the screen you can see the camera you have high medium which is default and low uh, you can also customize your certain uh, settings as well guys feel free to copy mine i've changed some sort of settings such as the no scope x-axis and the no scope y-axis um, if you are brand new to the game what i would recommend is just switching to medium default it's a good sensitivity uh, it, it helps you uh, to be able to actually hit enemies much easier for a sort of pro level and for sort of my level of the game i switch mine to high um, it makes it so you can just switch to enemies really quick once you get used to it It's sort of muscle memory guys, but this is the first thing you really want to do when you uh, enter settings now there is one um, Setting that you need to change now. This is my camera setting as high if you scroll down a bit You've got your ADS setting which is high medium and low as well You want to keep this on medium and you want to make sure the y-axis and the uh, x-axis uh, the top two are set at 100 each okay that is a must, trust me. You will know what I'm on about in the game. It makes it so your aim is so much crisp and so much smoother. Uh, the UAV camera doesn't really matter. I've left that on medium. And your camera, when you uh, when you can uh, see on the surveillance cameras, I would leave that as medium as well. So they're basically the controls and the sensitivity, guys, that I would recommend. Now, I'm going to show you uh, exactly what I do before I even get into any games. When I click on my tablet and power it on, when I load up the game... There's one thing you have to do first, which get, I mean, if you can go, you can go straight into a game if you want to, but it's, it, I wouldn't recommend it. I would recommend doing this tip first. So let's get into it. Okay, so before I even load up the game, guys, I hit start in the bottom right corner. I go over to boot camp, okay? Now, boot camp automatically puts me into a game training. If you click on training on the left-hand side, you can pick attackers, you can pick a defender, you can pick which map you want. So let's go to the attackers side right now. So it will load you into the game just like this, guys. Let me get my headphones on ready. 
okay and uh i'm just gonna spawn him randomly and this is all i do guys my favorite um character is uh panther um so if i just load in now it's gonna load into the cargo dock uh, i'm just gonna load in like i said randomly i'm gonna go for panther my favorite attacker in the game with his farmers now this the boot camp is really good guys because you can basically just pick any agent you want they're all unlocked for you even if you haven't got them originally unlocked um, and all I do is basically just go around, um, walk straight into the building just like this. So let's just uh, get a pistol out so we can run a tiny bit faster. Let's just move over. So we've got these blue lines right here, which actually show you exactly where the point is. So um, boot camp's really good as well, guys. Not just for your aim and sensitivity training, but it's also good for um, sort of exploring the map and getting to know all of the rooms and stuff. Uh, so we're just going to hop in here. And you'll notice in the map, guys, you've got sort of little targets uh target markers just like this so you can literally just go around and just practice um practice on each target and there's different targets that move in the game as well um they they act as normal enemies uh to how much a normal enemy would actually take to kill um there you go look someone's camping on the stairs uh so i would just recommend just doing this before you even load up any game uh, especially for you pros there was two people right there and uh you can just roam from room to room you can even practice with a pistol if you want um let's just go find another target let's just go over here any target there we go just one just there. so there we go all you need to do guys is just practice and practice and practice in the boot camp and once you feel ready and you're all nice and sensitive up um is that a word sensitive I'm going to go with it anyway, but once you're all prepared, guys, and you've uh, sort of practiced in the uh, in the boot camp, go ahead into the real game. But um, this is what you want to do, and this is what I do, and a lot of pros do before I even load in. So here's that's tip number one, guys. Um, going to get into tip number two right now. Okay, my second tip, guys, for actually aiming like a pro in this game. Now, if I look here, you have three enemies lined up right there as soon as you go through the door frame. This is a tip uh, generally a lot of pros use. Uh, it's called the peak, um, which is pretty self-explanatory. I mean, with the ADS, the normal ADS like that, a lot of sort of new players tend to sort of ADS like this. You don't even want to use the normal ADS button, so you ADS straight, okay? All you need, right, if you look at my two fingers right here, all you need to ADS in is the two peaks. That's all you need to do, is literally just ADS in with the peaks. You'll rarely see pros use this sort of aim, and that's because when you actually walk around the corner, they automatically peek straight away. So if I want to peek uh, left around this corner, I can just do that and just destroy the enemy. If I want to peek uh, this side, if I want to go this side, I automatically peek before I even get into, into line of sight of the enemy. So just like that. And headshots and it's really simple guys this is a strategy you want to use you don't want to sort of walk around into a door and then go in like that um, because you'll just get hit easier and if you go like this you get to see the enemy quicker before they actually go in so if you're going in like this they can see you quicker um, so the only two buttons you need to use to ads is the the left and the right one just like this so when you're uh, going in from the right just like that there's an enemy just there take them out just like that and this is what a lot of pros tend to use so that's uh that's tip number two guys let me know what you think about that okay so once you put all of these in action guys and uh you've got a lot of muscle memory from doing that again just spend at least sort of 10 to 20 minutes at the beginning of your game before you even get into any pro lobbies especially before you even get into ranked what i would recommend is when you first load up the game go in the boot camp for about 10 to 15 minutes practice your aim on the bots that are in there maybe start a casual game before you even get into a rank game just to get used to the actual enemies and the other players in the game and then you are ready for ranked and if you put all of these in action uh, you will definitely uh, become better in the game and you'll like I said gain muscle memory and become a pro another thing I'd recommend guys that not a lot of people do in this game to become a pro you have to have the perfect HUD okay so if I go into HUD right now you'll see I have my perfect HUD set up right here. You can't see the uh, the buttons behind me, but that's basically my two peak buttons. Um, this is, in my opinion, probably the best HUD to use in this game. Uh, it makes it very simple to be able to peek with your right hand. Bearing in mind, guys, I'm using the four finger claw on my tablet right here, as you can see. Um, this will be different for, for different people. If you're using two thumbs, this HUD is gonna be a lot different. Comment below if you want me to make a HUD on two thumbs, if, you've got, if you're an actual thumb player. 
um, and you want me to make a separate pro HUD for you guys, but this is the HUD that is perfect for a four finger claw. Um, you've got the peaks behind me. Uh, don't want to join you right now, bro. Uh, you got the peaks behind me, which you just use your left four finger for, as well as your crouch and your prone. Then you've got everything on your right hand side too. Um, I'm not going to go into, my, into it in too much detail, but um yeah that's that's uh basically the best uh sort of hud that i i think is is perfect for a four finger claw let me know in the comments uh if you if they work for you if you've improved in the game with these tips uh make sure you press that subscribe button and you hit a like on this as well and use my, my recruitment code go follow him on twi uh, me on twitter as well so i appreciate everything guys i hope uh these tips help you become a pro in the game and i will see you in the next video yeah boy